ladies and gentlemen, live from London, an exclusive on hitmanfightly.tv. It's time for the main event of the evening. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's CFS versus Hitman Fight League for the ISKA Muay Thai World Title and the UK number one spot in the middleweight division. This contest is scheduled for five three-minute rounds of four Muay Thai rules in the 72.5 kilogram division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, representing the Hitman Fight League. He fights out of the bad company, Jim in Leeds. It's Joe Craver. Joe Crave, he's a value for money fighter, but he can't keep getting caught. And in his last fight, he was dropped three times and he got up and won. Now, his heart and his all that sort of business, but his flaws and flaws need to be ironed out because Wakeland is no so. Yeah, ages with Craven, experiences with Wakeland, but you can't keep getting dropped. Let's see if he's worked on it. He's a good kid, he's from a great gym, but it's a difficult task, no less. And Can facing this evening yes. in the blue easy? corner, Never. Against Wake a CFS fighter. He represents the JTT gym. It's Michael, the Punisher. Wakely. Michael Wakelin, I have known for many, many years. I mean, a lot. I'm talking. How long, Gav? 15 years, 20 years? Probably more, yeah, yeah. Stephen Wakelin, I remember as a kid, his brother, absolutely lethal, great fighter. But what Michael Wakelin, 38 years of age, 35 fights, only three losses and 32 wins. He lost recently against a Thai fighter who was landing clean with knees and kicks. Michael thought he won. The consensus around said he didn't. However, I haven't seen a fight, so I'm the neutral ground. But. Joe looks confident, but he has to, has to iron out the flaws that he's had. Let's see. But nothing but respect between these two. They're absolutely value for money. Our final fight of tonight on the Hitman Fight League. And it's for not only the world title, but it's also for the British number one spot. Ladies and gentlemen, we will return on February the 16th with me, Vinny Shulman and Gavin Sterrett. We'll be live ringside and also a tournament where the winner will go on and fight on the prestigious, the wonderful One Championship. We've got to thank all the One Championship team, especially Mr. Chattery, the team that make things happen and they absolutely just it's like a fairy tale isn't it Gav, for yeah, some fighters to fight is. on that and also get the money that it's, they get it's the golden ticket isn't it yes craven 34 fights and six losses wakelin 35 fights and three losses 32 wins Look at the weight, Wakelin. 
Yeah, he is. He's about 75 kilo as well. Mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get the action started in this the wild main event. Wild guys about weight. This is the event. Very, very, very aggressive fighting the local form. The ISKA forward. Muay Thai World Title and the UK number one spot in the middleweight division. This contest scheduled for five three-minute rounds of full no Muay Thai rules. rules. No, 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 it's no, like, like you said before, though, it's like his greatest strength is his greatest weakness, almost, you yes. know. It's, 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 he's he's, out of the he's never in a door fight. No, he's not. The he's not he's fighting money, but he's like... Entering but, yeah, with an it's the safety net is, you know, like life or death. Kind of uh, struggles and fights. Yeah, of course, everybody's, level, everybody's tough at this level. But, you know, there's a time. It's something in the bank, isn't it? It's the, it's the stuff in the bank. Like, he's talented enough that he doesn't need to, to trade on that toughness yeah. every single fight for me. And I think. see me in the balloon corner. A fantastic record of 34 victories, three defeats. A CFS fighter. He represents JTT Gym. He's the reigning, defending ISKA Muay Thai champion of the world, Michael the Punisher Whiteley. Your referee in charge of this world title contest, Mr. Ricky Sewell. Ricky Sewell, our prestigious referee. Synonymous with getting this deal with the brilliant one championship that we heard today. Wakeling versus Craven. Craven in the red corner and in the blue corner is Michael Wakeling, Richard Smith and Nampon in the respective corners. Wakeling very good with the left leg. Is it more? I think he's a. Seems to be a left-handed fighter, but stands in the orthodox stance, Gavin. Mm. Good left up, good left kick. Craven got good boxing skills, strong right hand. But he's like made of rubber bounces off the floor when he gets up. Been, seen him hurt, seen him win. Final fight of tonight, let's go. Round I've been looking forward to this. Look sharp, Craven with the left hook. So does Wakeland. Yeah. Good shot. Both men looking sharp. Wakeland will get caught with his favourite shot here, which is the left hook, Gavin. But his right hand is. Sort of tries to catch as well with yeah. the Yeah, he pours right it, arm. he pours it out, doesn't he? Beautiful left kick from Craven with Sharp. That was nice. Sneaky from Craven, that was clever. Craven's fighting a smart fight so far. Yeah. One all. Really defensively lax, doesn't he? Wakeland at the moment. Yeah. Hands are dropping, chin in the air at times. 
caught with the right hand. Beautiful right hand from Craven. It's definitely, definitely not settled yet. Speed is with the man from Halifax, Gav. Yeah, he's not trying to fight. He's, 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 he's boxing, isn't he? He's... Well defended. Nice. Another good left kick from Craven. Very good. Very good round. Needs to be better than that, Wakelin. He needs to be better than that, Gavin. The one because thing, his chin's the, too the, high. The one thing when you fight Craven is you need volume. You do need the volume. You know, you can't, you can't just, but you can't you, just, he's you got can't the, just sit he's, there. He's got that effervescent youth, Gavin. He's 13 years oh, he's, he's no, seen he's him fighting. What I'm saying is, though, Wakelin's defensively lacks here. Really badly. Oh, yeah. I think I think I think I think he's expecting to land on on Craven and hurt him, yeah. hurt him early, but that isn't going to happen. I mean, you know, when when Joe Craven fights, he, there is going to be a, a, an opportunity to, to land on him because that's just the way he fights. He's, he is open to be hit like that. But Wakelin's got to increase the volume. He's got to increase the work rate. Is it? He's got to make these things happen because otherwise, Craven's just happy. He is the, the, yeah. He is thirty, but he's still got. He's still got an engine. Hundred percent. Yeah, still 100%. got an engine. Oh, he's, still got got he's a legend. He's a, he's a Muay Thai. Still got a work. UK legend. A worldwide legend. Wakeling back. Craven's starting to get into a rhythm. Yeah. Good boxing skills, sharp hands from Craven. Looks a quicker well, that was of lovely. the two. That was really nice. Kicking and block. It's a left up little catch. Wakeling is not careful. There, there you go. go. I told you, didn't there I? You go. I told you that was the shot. And he's absolutely took him clean out. I did say, didn't I, Gavin? Yeah, wait. Just... Their oxygen straight in. Yeah, wait till see if he's okay first. And... He was absolutely on the chin. And I did say his right hand was too low. He was defensively left the all the way through. And that was an absolute of a shot. Do you know, before the fight started, you would have had Wakelin to do that, really. If he was a betting man, he would be looking it, at, it, looking it, at listen, that, where's his way around. Beautiful shot. And, and not only that, before that, the performance before that was good as well. Yeah. He was sharp, it, mate, he, was, he was sharp, it was where he was clever, I he just, was varied. He was Here we go. defensively lax, all oh, the beautiful ooh, shot. shot. And he took him clean out. Right on the button, right on the chin. I did say, didn't I, his hands were so defensively lax Ooh. and he took it right on the kisser. Yeah. That was some shot. Wow. Yeah, that was a beauty. A beauty.
ladies and gentlemen, this is Muay Thai, and we show respect for our world title fighters. Let's have a round of applause. Come on. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this contest was brought to a close. One minute and three seconds into round number two. Let's hear it for your winner by KO and new ISKA Muay Thai champion and still UK number one, Joe Craven. And your terrific runner up, Michael Wakeley. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, the man leaving the ring is a British legend. Give it up for Michael Wakelin. His service to Muay Thai in this country has been second to none, and he's got a firm place in my heart and in the heart of Muay Thai people. But listen, it's not the belt, it's who you take it off. And this kid has gone through hell and back, I know where this kid's been. What a performance. First of all, massive round of applause. He's came up short. He's came up short a couple of times and he's been through some absolute wars. Young man, tonight belongs to you. Congratulations. How do you feel? So happy, but can I just say a massive thanks to Mike. I've looked up to that guy for absolutely years, so Look, to even share the ring with him is a uh, massive honour, so big thank you to Mike. Superb. Joe, on commentary I was saying you needed to be better this time. I'm honest, you know this. And you was 100% better. The team behind you, I know you do, the team behind you did an absolute brilliant job. That left hook was absolutely sweet. What a way to win. You must be over the moon. I'm buzzing. I'll take that one off, Liam. Hook side, goodbye. Get up. You know what, honestly, Joe, you just give us a little bit of insight. The camp was difficult, wasn't it? You had a turbulent time. It was up and down, but you've come through it. Who would you like to thank? Who's the people you'd like to thank? Every single person at Bad Company, every single person, all my sponsors, all my family, all my friends. Do you know what? Everyone who's come to part tonight, because Mike's fans, my fans, without your atmosphere, we can't do it full time. So, honestly, a big thank you. Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen, listen. February the 16th, we have another scorcher for you in Manchester. 24th. I'll be doing some of the 16th, anyone wants to come? <laughs> On the 24th of February, we have an absolute scorcher of a show. And this young man's going to be on it against Josh Hill. Josh Hill's just had a draw tonight. It's going to be a northern banger. Make sure you're there. One final word to you, because tonight belongs to you, youngster. Just want to say a massive thank you to everyone. Everyone who's played a part in my camp, supported me, message me. Just thank you to everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, your new world champion, Joe Craven!